you know, Reg, we all come from these different backgrounds and we have different languages and we have different history and we have this and this and that. But once you really realize that we all connect one way or the other and the similarities, the similarities are much more than the differences, then that is a language on its own. And if you master that language, I believe, that is just my belief, that, you know, every single closed door would open, every single window would open for you. Now, how would I, for example, where I come from, where, I, where I'm based in this part of the world, with 200 nationalities living on our own land in the UAE, yet we are able to connect with everybody, do business with everybody, Rich. Like, you know, this is probably one of the places in the world where an Indian and a Pakistani would do a perfect a business you know and they would be like so awesome about it a serbian with a bosnian with a blood history between them but in the uae they would be just perfect together and all of that so that is the philosophy i believe in is that once we realize yes. what really matters to you what really matters to me and we appreciate it then the language of respect and creativity and innovation can be really so can you give us an example then of how those cultural codes show up okay and what could be one or two tips for anyone who's watching this today who's not only learning about your legacy uh, but also learning from you as an expert of things to be aware of and apply when it comes to cultural co codes so when it comes to the business etiquette that where you are today in the uae and you are living in the different emirates of the uae so how would you actually now carry and try to connect the similarities and the differences between each emirate and their mindset on how to do business? So for example, if you have a business right now that is based in Dubai and you want to actually expand to Abu Dhabi, it is not just say, let's just go open a branch in Abu Dhabi and that's it. It's not really that way. You need to understand where to open in Abu Dhabi. You need to understand that in Abu Dhabi's culture is different slightly from Dubai, if not more. Sharjah is, on the other hand, also have a different kind of, of, of um, you know, the aspect of the business. And so once you realize these differences and put it all together into, you know, you know, you know, on, a, on a page and write it down, you will realize that, okay, I need to do one, two, three to be able to connect there perfectly. Can you imagine, Rich, even the language that is being used is different from one country to another, and we are all Arabs. But one thing that is being said in Oman doesn't necessarily would, would, would succeed in Saudi Arabia, vice versa between here or Bahrain or so on and so on. And we are all Arabs. Just because we're all Arabs doesn't really ma matter. Um, it's like, you know, going to somebody in, in India and going to somebody who's an Indian in Fiji and speaking to the guy from India and Fiji the same way that is the guy in India doesn't work. Right. And how does that come? It comes once you realize that the culture is different of that, from that person to the other in India. And that, that could apply to anywhere in the world, yeah? When you've gone to 190 odd countries around the world, it will apply, you will see that from one country to another. I mean, if you go to the UK, people say UK or Britain, but you've got, you know, you've got England, you've got Wales, you've got Scotland, you've got Ireland. And then even if you take London in the UK, you've got all these different aspects of London where people even speak differently or act differently. These are all cultural codes, yeah? Absolutely. You know, the, the time aspect, you know. So can you imagine a guy from Sweden or a guy from Germany coming to this region for the first time and his appointment is at 10 o'clock a.m.? He would show up at 9.30 or 9.45. The people that are hosting him, they think at, as part of the hospitality is that for the next one hour, they just have to sit, have some date, have some coffee, speak about how he's doing, you know, how he's life, and then start the business. That other guy would actually assume that those people are not respectful. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that we are not on time? No. In fact, Rich, I think we are the most punctual people on earth. How is that? Well, in this region, you hear five times a day the call to prayer. It never stops for 1,441 years. It never stops. So we are punctual, but the priorities are different. And now, are you able to have a big heart, a big brain, to be able to observe and accept and embrace and appreciate all of the differences of those people around the world? 